Hi, welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. We've got a brand new iron review for you here, well two irons in fact, and this is from the Wilson uh, range and the new C300. I've got the C300 head and as well as the C300 forged, okay. So two irons, we're going to do both in one video here just to, um, just to give you an idea of maybe these two against each other as well. Um, give you a little bit of um, feedback as to the looks and the feel obviously these two clubs obviously one's forged one isn't one's more forgiving the forged one's a little bit more compact a bit more of that knee to top edge there um, a little bit more play playability but some good technology on these or some different technology we've seen some power holes here what Wilson are calling them so there's basically there's five power holes across the sole on a, on a sort of double um, doubled up basically so you've got two layers there of power, uh, power holes in the sole and then as you go around in the C300 it goes all the way around the, up the toe and across the top of the head also. So these power holes are basically, um, is metal taken away, urethane uh, substance filled in there, basically like a rubber substance, but basically it's creating some more uh, ball speed across the entire face here. So with them scattered all the way around the club head here, it's basically the, what Wilson says is, is it's one big sweet spot. Now we know there is the sweet spot can't get bigger, but effectively what they're saying here is off centre hits are more forgiving and keeping ball speed up, so more, more deflection on those uh, miss hits. As we work into the C300 Forge, obviously it's a more compact head here. You still got the power holes on the sole running up into the toe section, but you don't have them on the top of the top line here. But obviously with that gets thinner, it's very hard to then put holes uh, in that sort of uh, position here. So still going to hopefully see some ball speed across the face on miss hits. Uh, but obviously just going in more of a, a sleeker look there, a little bit more of a look that generally the better player would like to sort of see, a little bit less offset there, uh, and obviously with the forged head probably going to see some softer feel. Okay, so let's get underway, uh, hit some shots here. We're going to start off with the C300, then move into the forged. We'll hit some shots and we'll look at some numbers and see how they are performing. Right, so we're going to start off with the C300 here, so... Uh, the technology of the current is flex face here, so again, it's all about ball speed across the face. But to be honest, uh, as I put that down, it looks really nice. Um, now, for a more, obviously, forgiving option of the two models we're going to look at here, um, it, it's, it's obviously a thicker top line. We're seeing those holes in there, which sort of breaks the thickness of the top line a little bit for me. Uh, obviously, got a very high polished chrome toe and heel section around the head, which makes it look quite, quite a you know, a quality sort of finished product here. Um, uses a little bit of a quality um, sort of feel about it. A tiny bit of offset, but not massive amounts to be honest. Um, that sits really nice. It's the first first impressions. I've not actually hit this at all um, as yet, so it'd be quite interesting to uh, to sort of see how this sort of performs. Now this is a seven iron I'm hitting here. I've got this two degrees upright which you may know it's on the close-up pictures, there's number seven of the irons coloured in purple and it says two up, so obviously that's our fitting iron uh, and you'll see a bit of an ugly bolt um, connecting the shaft to the head, so do ignore those because obviously when you do purchase these irons that won't be there, it's just glued, you won't see a bolt, that's just for interchanging shafts uh, through a fitting process, but uh, let's get this first one hit, so the seven iron here, this is a loft of 31 degrees, so fairly strong but uh, we have seen obviously stronger on the market. Let's get to the first one here. That feels really nice. Okay, that's a nice ball flight there. Okay, look to be stopping pretty quick. That carried out at 170. Okay, and that's spawned at just under 7,000 there. So quite a quite an impressive spin number to start off with there. I struck that really nice. Uh, very nice straight golf shot. Hit the green really nicely there. Again, nice and solid. Maybe just going up that left side of the green there. Yeah, just just about hanging on there. That carried 178. Probably just gone a little bit further because I just slightly pulled that. Yeah, spin's come down a little bit there. That was 5-2 spin there, a little bit because uh, I just pulled that a touch left from that uh, from that first one. But again, it felt really good. It's not probably the first thing that stands out there. It's not a really loud. Uh, sort of sound to that as you strike it. Sometimes you go into the game improvements, get very clicky, um, quite a, a very loud sort of sound. But maybe because of the power holes, maybe it acts as a bit of a dampening in terms of the acoustic sounds of that uh, of the club as the ball leaves the club face. Oh, 
Okay, now that was definitely a little bit lower in the club face there, but visually that's come out really well. Very straight, very similar to that first one. So first one struck really well, that was a little bit lower. That's gone very, very similar on the distance there. You literally one yard in it, and that held its line quite nice. So possibly a little bit of power holes doing the job there maybe. You know, that definitely was a slightly lower, slightly lower, slightly heel strike there. Visually very straight, distance wise very similar to that first one which I struck really well. Really do like the look of that for, for a, a game improvement iron, which wouldn't always suit my eye. That does look some really nice shaping of the toe there across that lead edge into the heel section. It does look really, really pleasing to the eye. Again, not the best of strikes, just push that up the right there. Yeah, just find the green, so that carried out 171. It's done well there, considering I didn't really get hold of that one. And that's spun at 6-9. Okay, so uh, I think what we'll do first is we'll, we'll, we'll switch the shaft into the C300 forged head. We'll hit four shots of that, and then we'll compare some numbers. Right, okay, so now I've got C300 forged um, in, in my hands here. Again, two degrees upright. Uh, we've got the power holes in the bottom up the toe, but we don't have them in the top. So what I just didn't point out on the C300 is the power holes, what Wilson is saying, creates um, a 57% 50, increase on deflection on the club face as the ball's striking it. Now, as we go into the forged um, head, it, it, that reduces to about 27%, uh, I think it says. Obviously, we're losing the slots on the top. But having said that, the player who would probably go into the forged head maybe isn't really wanting all that sort of speed, really. Uh, obviously, the loss of change here, the 7.9 is into 33 degrees, so it's 2 degrees weaker than uh, the standard C300. So again, the player here is looking for a little bit more maybe precise spin number, a bit more consistent spin number, that feedback of a forged head, and a little bit maybe playability and workability in the club, but still wanting that bit of speed, that bit of forgiveness on off-centre hits, which hopefully this is going to provide. So, put that down by the golf ball. Again, for me, it's a great looking golf club. It's, it's better, obviously, for me, my eye than the C300. Did like that. This now is... Is, is just very very nice looking now I do play the V6 uh, Taurine which I love you know I love the look of it um, they're in my bag at the moment I do love now this is a slightly bigger appearance than the V6's but very little offset sort of medium top edge there again it's high polished chrome heel and toe section here but looks really nice again this has not been struck yet this is going to be the first shot with the C300 forged Oh, wow. Struck that, love that. Just pulled that a touch there, but that is a really nice high ball flight. Struck that superb. Yeah, that carried 178. Good strike. Little bit pulley, so it's probably squeezed a little bit more out of that. Um, but definitely a slightly higher ball flight I saw there. But definitely first thing there was a softer feel. Instantly feel the difference between that. A little bit more muted on the sound, a little bit of a softer feel there. Yeah, lovely again. Feels superb that. Really nice feel there. Nice straight goal shot. Very similar distance there, 171 saw with C300 there. Um, so not, you know, considering it's two degrees um, weak on the lofts, I'm seeing quite a similar distance to C300 there. Um, Maybe that's a little bit because I'm preferring the look of this. I feel more comfortable, maybe just freeze me up swinging it, I don't know. Um, but those were two good strikes to start off with there. Yeah, again, nice, nice strike, lovely flight. Hit the green really nice there. Looks to be stopping pretty quick, 169 carry. And that one, that's one just over 7,000 now. That was a um, different spin number there again. Yeah, again, feels lovely. Nice ball flight. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. That feels superb to me. Again, that was stopping pretty quick. 177 carry. And that spun 6,400, I think it was. 
Okay, so that again, that feels really good. Definite difference of feel there between the Forge and the non forge as you'd expect there. The look obviously suits my eye a little bit more um, and uh, feels really good. I love the fly to that. Right, let's go look at some numbers in a little bit more detail and maybe just uh, see if there's a difference between those two clubs. Okay, so we'll just look at the dispersion rings first. So the white one was the C300, the red was the Forge. So a little bit more consistent with the Forge one there in terms of dispersion. Let's have a look at the numbers in a little bit more detail here. So, Club SP pretty much accurate, a little bit down from what I normally am to be honest there, I'm not sure why, I didn't really feel, sort of feel any different. Uh, ball speed a little bit more over the C300 Forge there, which is interesting because it was two degrees weak on the loft there, so an average um, a little bit more ball speed, probably struck those all pretty good to be honest, so wasn't really drop offs, you can see that third one there, the C300 dropped off a little bit more, I didn't quite get that one, I think that was the one that was a little bit lower in the face there. Uh, launch quite slim, a touch higher with the forge as you maybe expect. Spin, um, two good spin numbers there to be honest. Uh, a little bit more on average there with the forge again with that extra uh, bit of loft you'd sort of expect that. Again, peak out, touch higher, 171 against 173. So actually got a little bit more yardage out with the forge against this standard one there. Okay, so interesting one there really with the C300 and the C300 forged. Uh, there wasn't actually a big split between the numbers there. I thought there might be a little bit more uh, of a difference there with the lofts and obviously uh, the extra power holes possibly there. But um, this in videos, it really head to head with these two. It's more just sort of looking at both irons really and uh, obviously seeing which one might sort of suit you. Now, obviously, the big differences there for me is the looks. Um, as I say, the C300, I'm, I'm, I was really quite impressed with for a big game improvement iron. That looks really nice. Um, C300 Forge looks beautiful, yeah, it's a great looking iron. Obviously there is smaller heads on the market, thinner top edges, but that, that's very pleasing to my eye. I could quite easily put those in the bag for me. I think the finish on them is superb, the look, the look quality in the finish of them, with both of them to be honest, what they're doing in the back of the head, which looks really sort of nice. Um, we also make some good irons, you know, as I say, I've got the V6 Forge, absolutely love them. I think they're a superb iron, feel great. Um, perform superb and um, you know I'm really sort of pleased with them. Um, C300 Forge I think is a good one for me as well that's something I could definitely put in the bag a little bit more forgiving option than the V6's um, but two really sort of good irons and, and um, you know I think as, as I've always said there's no real sort of bad clubs on the market nowadays uh, nowadays it's, it's just sort of finding one that suits your game obviously getting fitted here there's a lot of shaft options you know, the heads are like that with the bolts, so you can interchange the shafts, got different lie options here, using GC2, we can really sort of dial it into uh, your sort of swing and your delivery. Okay guys, let me know your thoughts on the Wilson brand. I think Wilson are making a really good comeback into the market now, obviously being around many, many years, uh, but definitely making a good bolt back up into the uh, market with some really good product here. So, uh, be interesting to hear your thoughts around Wilson. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. Do follow my social media platforms. All the links are in the description down below. Obviously hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Very much appreciated. Share the video around with your friends. If anybody thinks they might be interested in Wilson, do share the video around. Give the thumbs up and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.